What's up guys? Fishing the 509 here with a different kind of episode today. Today, we're putting the hooks away for bass and we are trying to catch her, her first rainbow trout. So we're gonna go out looking for some of them. We went out to a spot earlier just to try it out and with no luck. So we are coming to the potholes and uh, hopefully try to catch some rainbows. Wish us some luck. We'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Got one. The little one. Dude, he was not getting off this. Dang, what a nice looking fish. Look at this. It probably would have been a little bit better if we, we would have came out this morning. I mean, we, we obviously were doing okay right now, but there's one. There's another one. Fish number three. It's a bigger one, yep. Come on, need you to pull one in. Well, get out of my spot. Go. He's really skinny. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, don't get dirty, don't get dirty. I wanted a picture of you. He's gone. There's another one. There's another one. Dude, they're all right here against the rock. Want to switch poles? Number four. It's a nice one, dude. Look at this, a little skinny, but I'll take him any day. This guy's so squirmy. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, I'm gonna let you go. Take it easy. Did, I get, did he get slime on the camera? Oh my gosh, that one's beautiful. Let's what a nice looking fish. We'll keep the, we're gonna catch a lot. We'll catch once once we're getting ready to go. Okay, we're getting ready to go. <laughs> Look at this fish. He's so beautiful. He looks like a cheetah. He's gone. He's gone. Okay, so what I'm doing now, if the bite gets tough with the rooster tail, a good thing to do is buy some small hooks. I don't know why they're in red. They're usually in red. Um, these are the ones I use. Either these or really tiny and uh, really good technique if you want to bring your kids out fishing and you don't have a clue what you're doing usually just tie two split shots this is six pound line and power bait this is what I use some of this stuff there's some that say 55% better blah 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 I usually buy this color so what you do is you just get some power bait scoops them out of your finger and put it in your palm and you roll it up it is stinky but it's worth it and then you just get that hook kind of just put that power bait on there and I like to make a little teardrop with it so kind of looks something like this and uh you want to make sure that your power bait can float because basically see how that power bait's floating don't mind all the trash from people but um, basically what happens when you cast it out and this power boat power boat this power bait is uh, super buoyant so when you cast out these split shots sink to the bottom and the power bait floats up like a little balloon and uh, that's usually when the trout take it. So we just cast it out, let it sink all the way down. Just watch your line. Once you see your line go slack, you reach the bottom, keep your lines tight, and uh, just kind of let it sit there. 
It's kind of a patient way to fish when you usually want a light rod. Usually have some ultra light rods work really well. Just gonna leave it down there. Keep the line tight. Just let it go to work. We're on video, so you better catch one. We're not keeping there's one. Nice. Yeah. There's the rainbow. <laughs> pull them out, pull them out, pull them out. Wow. There's another one. So They're crazy wild. fish, dude. He's bloody. Yeah, let him go. Get the release on him. Say bye to your first rainbow ever. You could tell it's a $10 rod, though. I like that. Oh, there's one. He was farther than the last one? Wow, this one's a little skinny guy, dude. He has a little toothpick. <sighs> Number five, little skimpy guy. Come on, man, I'm trying to let you go. I think the hair's oh, come on. A little skinnier than I'd like, but super cool. See ya, dude. Thanks for letting me catch you. Huh? Judy just hooked up on one. Let's go. Sorry if the camera's shaking. You can hear me breathing like a warthog. That's a good one, dude. That's a long one. Are we keeping them? What? It's been so long. If you want to. Or is he not moving? He's a little skimpy. Well, a little update. We have caught about seven fish. We've been out here for like how long? Like two hours? Hour and a half? The weather's so nice out here. We'll probably fish it for a couple more hours. Maybe take some fish home. Well, it's pretty nice so far. We'll see if we can, if she can catch one on video while we're doing this. Dude, that's a good one. That's a big one. Oh, I mean, he's okay size. No, I think your trouble's got him. Look at that. I don't want to touch him. Number three. Bag. Stop it. <laughs> we'll come back this week and catch some more. They're not hard to catch. See ya, dude. Seen a lizard. It's a good one. It's a big one. Get another one on some power bait. There's one. He's off, he's off. It's just fun just to hook him, you know? Just to feel that bite. Poodle cash and release. I am just so nasty covered in power bait, dude. <laughs> like power bait for a month. <sighs> just casting out. Let it sink. Watch that rod tip. There's one. About time, man. Just thought these tiny little hooks were gonna keep letting them get off. Oh no, he choked it. He gone? Okay, so it's almost time to go. We've been catching tons of fish today. Feels really good. Bring your kids out, catch some trout, have some fun. That's what it's all about, right? I mean, just doing this with the power bait, it's gonna catch you fish. Just don't mess up bringing the treble hooks. Mini red treble hooks, that's the key. What's up? We are at Herman Lake. Dude, I didn't even know I had them on. You see that? You're never too old to come out fishing. Even if it's something you want to just try once, you don't have to have an expensive rod and reel. This pole that I'm using was like 15 bucks at Tri-State. And the reel 
was like 20 bucks. I got it off Amazon. So a $30 combo. And that's all you need, to be honest. You don't need fancy stuff. Come out, bring your kids. Have some family time. It's priceless, right? I'm sure your kids will enjoy it. And they'll remember this for the rest of their lives. It's priceless to come out. Man, the power bait is definitely working right now. But I can't freaking set the hook. If you watch, I've missed so many fish right now. And it's because I'm using this tiny little hook. So make sure you get, even if it's if they're this small, the treble hooks though. Those will be key. Because when you're putting this hook inside the power bait, that hook end is being covered in there. So when those fish come to eat it, they're just chomping it and taking off. So... Bat. Trout are, they're sneaky little guys. I mean, these fish are literally right here, like 20 feet in front of us. And I'm watching them steal my bait. So definitely invest in the treble hooks if you're going to come out. You'll hook up on more fish with your kids. Have just a ton of fun. There's one. There he is. Dang, what a fast fish. You see that fish? That fish just did acrobatics to get off this hook right now. Holy cow. That fish got airborne. That was like crazy. Did you see that fish? I give him a 10. He did like a triple backflip. Whoever catches the next fish doesn't have to make dinner. Okay? I would help you, but you know. There's one. I got one. Stay on. Stay on. Oh my gosh. This fish is some fight to him. I mean, if he jumps off, he jumps off. Well, that's a nice way to end it. Where you belong? He gone. I'd throw a different color. Have you been throwing that? Haven't hit nothing yet? You're lucky that fish. Oh, oh, there's a hit. There's a hit. I think he has it. There's one. Let's get this guy. Yeah, right. And he's gone. Quick release. Peace out, fish. And that's a wrap on our rainbow trout, rainbow. I'll wait till we're driving. I'll wait till we're driving, okay? Why? Because I'm so out of breath. That concludes our fishing for today. We ended up catching well over 20 fish. And that's good, we got a lot of good footage. Trout fishing is very simple and fun. You take your kids out, at least during spring break, at least go make an attempt to go out one time and uh, Catch some trout, easy fish to catch. Never keep those bass, let them go so they can grow and become some trophies someday. Yeah, you got anything to say?